Mikey, you've signed a new five-year deal. See, you stay at the club till 2025. You must be absolutely delighted. Yeah, delighted. We've been we've been talking about it for a while and I'm just happy to get it over the line now. Now, I'm not going to ask you to tell me what Santa got you for Christmas, but I'm guessing this new deal must be the, the best present you could have got at this time of year. Yeah, I suppose so. It's a great present. Great present to have. Uh, Christmas was good with the family and stuff and now just delighted again to get this uh, over the line. And for Celtic fans, you know, they've seen the likes of James Forrest and Callum McGregor committing a long-term future to the club. Now you're on the next academy success story that's, that's done the same thing. And that must be great, you know, as a Celtic fan to be committing a long-term future to the club. Yeah, as you say, people like Callum McGregor and James here, they're great people to be looking up to. And there's people that you can learn from every, every day at the club. And, and I'm happy that I can I'm sort of carry that on and hopefully I can teach all the younger boys and stuff out of how that? I mean, does that help, you know, when you start to go into the, the first team squad and training, when you've got people like James and Callum who have been on the same journey as you, that you can learn from them, but they're also there to give you advice? Yeah, of course. They're, they're always willing to give me a bit of advice whenever I need it, and I would go to them with wee problems or whatever, and yeah, I'm always happy to, to learn. And is it strange for you then to think that, you know, there's maybe young players coming through the ranks just now that are looking up to you and thinking, I want to be the new Mikey Johnson? Yeah, it's, it's strange hearing it that way, but hopefully I can just help uh, all the younger boys coming through and hopefully be a role model uh, to them as well. I mean, in terms of this season, I mean, you started off really impressively, scored a few goals. Has this been a good learning experience for you because you've had to deal with the downside of, of being out injured and having to cope with that? Yeah, I think there's always going to be ups and downs in football and there's things that you can, you can learn from and if you can overcome it mentally, then it'll hold you in, in good stead. And you must be pleased, you know, having come, in, come back, the impact you've made, particularly, you know, a couple of goals you scored against Ryan and Ross County, and obviously that's part of your, your game. You must be pleased to make that contribution. Yeah, I'm always happy to, to help the team wherever, wherever needed, and I'm happy to score goals when I can and, and, and create goals for the team, and hopefully I can do that in the future. And how have you enjoyed, obviously, Neil Lennon came back in February, how have you enjoyed working with him? He's now here on a, on a permanent basis. Yeah, yeah, it's been great for me, and... All the advice that he gives me has it's been brilliant uh, for me learning as, as a player and developing and everything that I've learned from him and the coaching staff has been, it's been brilliant so far. Again, we spoke about you know, the likes of Callum and James have been through the academy route. John Kennedy is assistant, he's another one who knows what it, it feels like to be a Celtic youth player to make it as the first team. Has he helped you as well? Yeah, him and, and, him and Damien Duff I always go to with problems and stuff and, and, and just try and learn wee bits and bobs off them. I'll go and do analysis and stuff and they'll always be trying to lead me on the right path. And given the position that you're playing in the team, when you've got somebody of the quality of Damien Duff and what he's done in the game, that must be great for you to, to learn from him. Yeah, it's, it's easy because he's done so much in the game and he's got so much knowledge to give and I'm just tr trying to take it up and, and be a sponge. In terms of your targets, you're already six goals for this season. Do, do you set targets for the season? Is it just a case of wanting to play as many games and, and make as much of a contribution as possible? Well, obviously I've had the, the downside of having an injury and stuff, so it's kind of halted my progress a wee bit this year, but I'm just trying to get back fit and, and try and get as many games as possible and get my stats up. You know, I was checking, you scored the first competitive goal this season for Celtic against Sarajevo. You scored our first league goal uh, on the opening day of the season against St Johnson. Can we look forward maybe to a first derby goal from you soon? I hope so. I've been wanting to score in one of these games, so hopefully. Well, listen, it's great news uh, at the end of the year for every Celtic fan. Congratulations again, Mikey. Thank you. Cheers.